Have you ever said anything and then wished you could take it back? It's safe to say we've all had similar experiences. While acquiring the art of expressing your ideas and beliefs is a valuable ability, there are times when remaining silent is the better option. Recognizing such occasions can assist you in avoiding avoidable conflicts, maintaining confidence, and showing respect. Here are six situations when it is best to simply remain silent. One when your judgment is unclear. When you are having problems thinking clearly, the first thing you should do is refrain from speaking up. This could be due to many different kinds of reasons. Perhaps you are tired, under the influence, upset, or worried. In these situations, it is best to take a couple of moments before speaking up. If you don't, you could say something you later regret. If you give your thoughts time to evolve yet continue to think the same way, you can talk about it later. But not when you're feeling emotionally or otherwise constrained. Two, when your words are going to cause harm. The second time you should avoid speaking up is when your words have a greater probability of being harmful than beneficial. Sure, there are moments when people need to hear what is true, no matter how painful it is, but these are rarer than we believe. Consider whether what you are about to say will be beneficial to the other person or if you are using them to harm them. 3. When what you say is irrelevant. When your point of view is irrelevant, you should keep quiet. Acceptance and admission are never easy. Even if our ego seems irrelevant, it is crucial. When you don't know enough about a topic, other people are experts, or your view has no impact on others, it's often best to stay silent simply because it's the most practical thing to do. Whoever doesn't like your comments should stay silent. For if there is insufficient evidence. Sure, we have the right to make guesses and speak out in certain situations, even if we lack evidence. However, this is not always the situation. We shouldn't share ambiguous information when discussing something that is likely to have a major effect on another person, such as their health and emotional well-being. In some cases, hearsay is acceptable, but if our hearsay has the potential to influence an important choice, we should refrain from responding. For example, if a person is considering whether to use a drug that may be beneficial to them, it is best not to bring up a rumor about a friend of a friend who used the prescribed medication and experienced negative side effects unless you are confident that you are correct. 5. When told not to talk. Being told to keep quiet is more difficult for the ego than admitting that your rumor is not small. In other situations, such as at work or in other places, you may be asked to take a back seat, which may drive us to speak up. It is wiser, however, to resist that temptation and instead reflect. Why are we being asked to keep quiet? Listening and learning can also be useful in these instances. 6. When you don't have anything to say. It is not necessary to add something simply because you feel compelled to do so. You could instead agree with what someone else has said. It can be difficult to admit that you have nothing to contribute. Allow yourself to admit when you've got nothing to say instead of speaking just to speak. In essence, recognizing moments in which quiet is the best option reveals wisdom and maturity. Developing this talent through careful consideration and regular practice is an investment that will definitely benefit you in many areas of life. So, embrace the power of thoughtful restraint and watch it become a wonderful asset on your path to personal and professional development. If you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that we can continue to make them. Thanks for watching. Until next time.